G'day guys. Now we're going to take the circular flow of income, which we represented with the two sector model. And now we're going to upgrade that to the three and then four sector models. So the two sector model was this one with withdrawals in the forms of savings and injections in the form of investment. Firms and households are definitely very important, but there is one also very important sector that we've completely left out here, and that is the government. We know that firms and households don't get to trade between each other happily with no government intervention. So let's have a look at what this looks like now with the government getting involved. We've got firms still, of course, paying for their factors of production, and that is the income being paid out. But while previously we saw this go 100% to households, we know that in reality, the government is going to take their cut in the form of taxes. So this is another form of withdrawal from the circular flow. The circular flow is just money going from firms to households back to firms. And we saw that money can be taken out of that flow via savings. It also can come out through taxes. But along with that withdrawal comes an injection with government then spending money in the goods markets so that the money will flow back into the firms. So money is pulled out via tax and then it comes back in via government spending where it